What is up guys? My name is Asteroid and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guys. So guys, today we're going to go in and uh, we're going to go for Luxray. Now, Luxray has a lot of potential, a great typing, a uh, fantastic design, great abilities, a great attack stat. Definitely has a lot going for it and uh, we're going to be covering that today. Now, before we actually get started though guys, I want to announce that this upcoming Tuesday through Sunday, I will not be here. And I know it sucks. Uh, but I'll be out of town, and I won't be able to stream, but don't worry guys, don't worry, I'm going to pre-record a ton of videos, so that way there is daily content on the YouTube channel while I'm gone. So, there'll still be daily videos, don't worry. But, anyways, without further ado, let's get straight in with guys. You can see right here, you can see our Benji, our Luxray, who has the moves Wild Charge, Crunch, Ice Fang, and Facade. Now, sadly, Wild Charge is the best physical electric type move that Luxray gets. Uh, if you don't want that recoil, then you're sadly going to have to go with either Spark, uh, which has base 65 power, or you could possibly go with Thunder Fang. And Thunder Fang also has base 65 power, uh, but it does lose a bit of accuracy. But then again, you also gain that chance to flinch, so it's all your choice. But I'm personally going to go with Wild Charge, um, just for that extra power. So, anyways guys, for the stats, you want to go max attack, max speed, and 4 in HP. Try and get the most out of your 120 base attack stat. And try to get the most out of your speed by going with the Jolly Nature. I would definitely recommend the Jolly Nature over the Adamant Nature. Just because of the fact that you only have base 70 speed. And you might as well try to make the best of it. Now you can go with Adamant if you want. And uh, try to get the most out of your attack set. Just hit like a truck. But I'd rather get the most out of your speed. Because you're really not that fast to begin with. So for the item we're going to be running Flame Orb. And the reason we're running Flame Orb is because of Guts. And also because of Facade. Now for the rest of the moves though. Crunch is great for coverage, Ice Fang is great for coverage, and uh, Facade is good because of the Flame Orb. Now, Facade doubles when you're burned, uh, poisoned, or paralyzed, which is really, really good because you're going to be burning yourself with the Flame Orb, getting that Facade boost, getting that Guts boost, and it's going to be awesome. Now, instead of Ice Fang, you could possibly run Fire Fang if you'd rather have that coverage. Uh, basically, whichever coverage you need for your team, go with that. Now, you can run Toxic Orb instead of Flame Orb on this set, but the only problem with that is that Toxic Orb is going to be doing more damage each and every turn, but it may be a better option, because especially if you're like switching in and out a lot, if you're doing a lot of switching, then the damage doesn't have an opportunity to stack up on you, and a Toxic Orb may be the better option overall, so if you'd rather have that, then go with that, but if you're going to be staying in for long periods of time, then Flame Orb is probably your best bet. So anyways, let's move on to the next Luxray set. Alright guys, with this set, we're going to be running a Choice Scarf Luxray, Max Attack, Max Speed, 4 in HP, go over the Adamant Nature over the Jolly Nature, and the reason why I say that is because uh, you really don't need the extra speed when you're going to be using a Choice Scarf here. You're going to be out speeding a lot of different threats anyway, so you really don't need it, uh, but you can run it if you would like the extra speed, but me personally, I'd rather go for the Adamant Nature. Alright guys, for the ability, we currently have Intimidate, and uh, Intimidate is a great ability, lowering their attack stat, making you more bulky, you can take more hits. And it's definitely a fantastic ability, but you can also run Guts. If you really wanted to, you could run Guts. Now, we're not going to be purposely uh, burning ourselves, but that doesn't mean you cannot run it. If you do end up getting burned, then all it's going to do is just give you that attack boost. And uh, it's still a great ability, even without the intentional burning from the Flame Orb. So, it's all your choice. You can go Guts or Intimidate. Guts kind of gives you that burn shield, uh, but Intimidate kind of gives you more defense it's all your choice so anyways for the moves we have wild charge crunch ice fang and fire fang and uh, the reason why we're not running facade is because we're not purposely burning ourselves so facade is not as useful that's why i recommend just going for the coverage uh with the fire fang and ice fang now you can run spark or thunder fang if you're not a big fan of the recoil but it is all your choice so anyways if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you smash that like button down below i'd really appreciate it comment and subscribe and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video Peace.